Hi, Smart Home Sunday. My name's Paul and a home assistant and a Ruby Gateway. They're playing nicely together. This is just a USB-C cable to give it power. One thing I didn't mention in an earlier video is, yes, there is an Ethernet port on the back of this Ruby Gateway, but you can also connect it to your network via Wi-Fi. This thing just gets more useful by the second. Home Assistant. I bought this last year. I've been procrastinating about when I'm going to hook it into Home Assistant. And then just this month, literally a couple of days ago, new update for Home Assistant includes Ruby Gateway integration. I'm hooked up. The sensors are flowing via Bluetooth into the gateway and over the network into Home Assistant. Can, can you see this? There's a bit of a graph going on here. It's all working. I've got all my sensors flowing into Home Assistant now and I'm too excited. I don't know what to do. So if you're after more detail on how to get the Ruby Gateway hooked up, maybe you've got one, maybe you're thinking of buying one, maybe you just want to see me configure it, well, give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe. And then I will know, I will get a clear signal that you want me to do some more in-depth step-by-step on how to get your Ruby Gateway hooked in to Home Assistant. It's very easy. You probably could do it yourself. Just, just go and tinker. But if you really want me to do the step-by-step -step guide, then I can. I can do that. If I don't get enough subscribes and likes by next week, well, I'll just start doing more stuff with the sensors. It's not like I'm going to stop putting videos up on YouTube. I, I just would like to know if, if you want more in-depth details of hooking this up, well then just, just tell me and I'll do it. Otherwise, I'm just here to tell you today I'm super excited and a big thank you to the Home Assistant community for just making my tinkering life so much easier. Um, look, one other thing I want to shout out here to Ruvi. Thank you also for making it possible that this gateway can be used with other third-party Bluetooth sensors. So there are actually configuration settings in here. So I'm starting to think about this as I really hoped it would be. It's now a Bluetooth gateway for my home assistant. I think this is really good. So, so what does it mean? Well, it means you could use the Ruby tags, but you could also use other Bluetooth sensors and feed them in via this gateway into home assistant. That's pretty good. Uh, I've got to say, I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased that Ruby decided to do that with this gateway because it's a really nice piece of hardware. And well, it also shows obviously a certain level of confidence in the sensors that they make, you know, to not close up. They're opening their ecosystem. So it's a Finnish company, Kitos. They won't be watching this video. <sighs> so much to tinker with during the week and so little time. I'll see you next time. Subscribe, thumbs up, let me know. Bye.